Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Toyota Igo Cross or X, the way you want to call it. Actually, it's an X, but they call it Cross. I don't know how to say, I guess it's a Cross because Toyota Cross, Igo Cross, so I will call it Cross. The model that I have with me is the Trend version with automatic transmission. Now, in this video, I will make the full review interior, exterior, so at the end of this video, you will find out everything about this new Toyota Igo 2022 version or 23 version let's start by giving you some technical data guys and before if you are in Switzerland around Switzerland check out Emil Frey in Bern I will leave the link in the description if you want to test drive the car if you want to see the car or buy the car check them out guys they have great price and also great service anyway tell them you see my video you come from me and you will get a nice discount as I said before I have with me the new Toyota Igo X it comes with a one liter petrol engine three cylinders in line this is standard the only thing that you can change is the transmission order you get an automatic transmission smart CVT order you get a five speed manual transmission now uh, the model that I have with me today it has the automatic transmission I will have a separate video the test drive there you can see everything about the driving you can see how it's on the road so stay tuned guys click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out if it's not already on the channel let me go forward the price of the car the basis price of this trend version it's 24,000 francs but if you add some optional for example this car here come with packet trend plus mean that it comes with apple carplay android auto multimedia system the new multimedia system i will talk about that a little bit later heated seats in the front and also it comes with parking sensors in the front and on the rear 1190 francs for the package and then the price will be 25190 francs this is the final price of the car and keep in mind that the car come optional with all the safety features it's just incredible i test drive the car and i notice that autopilot on this car is just very good and these come included so you can see right here acc adaptive cruise control emergency brake all that collision systems and all that safety features the car is just full it's super super packed and i'll show you as we go in the video now let's go to technical data guys car weight 1090 kilograms the estimated consumption is five liter if you want to find out what was my consumption in the test drive go and check out that video if it's already on the channel 113 co2 emission and it's in a class efficient class now let me go a little bit deeper and let me tell you that the car come with the one liter petrol engine three cylinders in line 72 horsepower 93 newton meter it's a front wheel drive system it doesn't come with the 404 or all wheel drive so that's something to keep in mind and it's connected with a one speed automatic smart cvt transmission the estimated range of the car with a fuel tank it's 714 kilometers and the fuel tank capacity it's 35 liters the top speed of the car 151 kilometers 0 to 114.1 second the car come with ventilated brake this on the front and drum brakes on the rear also standard it comes with 17 inch rims but on this model that i have today it comes with 18 inch rims and i don't understand why i'm a little bit confused here because also in the list price it says 17 inch rims but on the car today i have 18 inch rims Rims and I just forget to ask why is that but the 18 inch rims on this car look just fabulous It's the most beautiful city small mini car that I see until now and you will see when we go outside also the trunk capacity 231 liters the car come with independent McPherson suspension coil spring on the front and semi independent coil spring on the rear so those are the most important information about the car guys now let's start the review exterior interior and in the end we will make the conclusion and I will give you the rating this is the key the same key as Toyota use it also on other models what you can do with the key lock and unlock the car also as you can see right here the car doesn't come with electric folding mirrors but it comes with some kind of keyless entrance uh, so that means when you approach the car you can see that you have a button here you can press this button to lock the car so now it's locked and when you press it you unlock the car but you will have to have of course the key with you so it's not kind of a classic keyless entrance where when you approach the car uh, the car will unlock the door for you you have to press actually this button i don't know in my opinion it's one of the most cute nice 
city crossover on the market and it's growing my heart a lot after I see it in real I see it on the internet first of all a few video with it and I was like okay maybe it's nice maybe not but once I see it in real and I saw those 18 inch rims they look just fabulous I like it very very much I like this aggressive look the front look of the car is just so much like an SUV like a grow-up SUV and once I, I'm looking first of all for example Yaris Cross you can see it right there it's a little bit bigger than I go I was like oh man this is really nice this must be one of the most beautiful city crossover small mini on the market and I don't know I like very much the shape I think Toyota really nailed it with the shape of the car with the lines with with the overall design of the car it's really really nice I don't know about you guys but I like very much the lines I like the back of the car and I like also the side of the car very much the most and the most is the front part look really nice and also it gives it a little bit of tent of electric car as you can see is no grill in this area the only grill and air intakes are around here and down here guys on the right side so really really interesting the way they designed the car uh, probably in the future we will see some kind of electric car with this kind of shape but we will see the car come in two version uh, this roof it's a hard roof but it comes also with a canvas roof that you can open it up like fiat have it also on the, a few models and it's really really interesting to be able to open up the roof part the canvas and you can see the sky for the summer it's super fun but this model that i have with me is the hard top and the hard top look really interesting as you can see in the middle it's kind of coming down like this it's kind of a upper here on the side and in the middle it's a little bit, little bit lower i think it's for the aerodynamic of the car also the radio antenna it's here and it's missing actually it's a long radio antenna that's something to keep in mind here in the back the roof spoiler is kind of cut up really fast down here where it comes to the window a tinted window on the rear also on the side here uh, the brake light led brake light up here also the car come with 10 years warranty by the way i don't want to forget to tell you that and other than that here we have a completely glass and all this door on the trunk it's completely made by glass toyota logo igo x actually it calls cross they name it cross it's an x here but actually it's cross i go cross they call it really interesting then you have the led lights really interesting nice design on the lights as well the only thing that i don't like as you can see from here is the fact that it comes with bulb light normal bulb light on the turning signals uh, this is the fog lamp also a bulb light only the brake light and the tail lights are led but they look nice this is the only downside that i find it uh, in terms of light if i go down a little bit here you can see that on the number plate we have again normal bulb light and no led light uh, and we have a reverse camera that's also very useful then on the rear we have four parking sensors uh, that's very helpful and also come optional in the package that i show you before here we have some light reflectors two colors nice contrast on the car here i like very much the color that you can choose on this car they have a very very interesting colors here you should check it out on the internet really really nice colors and i like the contrast and the way they design the car it's, it's really interesting you have the exhaust pipe here on the right side and down here we have some kind of gray uh, plastic on the on the down part look at this guys i told you in almost all my reviews car something that is very practical it's this not only that they they make the car a little bit higher right now it's higher and it's great for potholes if you live in a country that have a lot of holes this car you will be super happy because you have a big ground clearance and you don't have to worry about the holes and stuff like that and i like this plastic all over down part here this plastic is very useful uh, from scratch from stones from rust in time in this area so it's very very practical and also you have it on the door so you are in the city you open the door in some kind of stone so you are protected on the down part you can see even on the rear door so that's great to the handles and the doors quality you can hear it right here 
Yeah, it's relatively okay. It's not a big, big high class quality on the doors. Here you have the mirrors. They are big, they are relatively big, like a big SUV. So you have great, great visibility in the mirror. No blind spot technology in the corner there, but they are big and nice. And also they are uh, black, glossy in this model. Also the shape of them, they are quite, quite nice and modern. Now here on the side, you have the turning signal. You don't have it like most of the car on the mirror. So you will have it down here on the body of the car. And it's also a bulb light. Oh my God, why not LED? I don't understand that. Anyway, going forward, this is the camera. The car can read the traffic speed limits. It works with the radar for lane assist and all that safety features that the car come with. And here you have the sensors for raining and for light. By the way, the radar, it's here in the front, right here in this area. And the radar is for adaptive cruise control, emergency brake and all that safety feature. And check out the test drive because this car have a splendid autopilot. It's doing a great job, a gorgeous job, one of the best. And I was impressed to find that uh, technology in a small car like that. It's just incredible what uh, the car offer. I like the bold look and the crossover look, uh, kind of powerful, small car. Uh, it looks really nice. Anyway, the lights here in the front is totally different. You can see right here, Igo X uh, logo on the side there. And we have LED lights on the turning signals, LED light on the daylight, high beam, low beam, LED. Down here, the fog lamps are not LED, normal bulb light, but they are fine. Sensors, four parking sensors in the front come optional. And again, on the downside, we have some glossy plastic here. And then we have the same gray on the down part, some matte plastics. So overall, it looks nice. Also, Toyota logo right here in the middle, nice integrated. And I like that look, that electric car look here on the upper side. I wanna show you also the car from the side and look at those 18 inch rims. What do you think about them? I think they look crazy nice. Look at them, super nice design. On the rear here, we have drum brakes and on the front ventilated brake discs. So yeah, they are fine for the size, for the weight of the car, they are more than fine. Here on the left side, on the driver's side, you have the tank, you have to open it from here and then going in the back, here's the tank, 35 liters. Let me close actually the, the light, okay, and the engine. And I wanna go to the engine bay. And I want to show you the engine, first of all, and then we will go inside the car. This is a manual lift gate here. It's very light. It's very small. I like that. Here is the engine, guys. One liter petrol engine. This is the array. Here's the batteries, fuse box on the right side. The liquid for the wipers is down there, in case you're wondering. But other than that, pretty simple. Wow, look at this. You open with all this glass. Simple. Simple. Up here, actually, you don't have any handle. I was impressed to see that or depressed to see that because you have to always close it from up here and you can get dirty on your hands. But yeah, I don't think it's a big problem. Now, the entrance in the car, it's OK. It's not that big, but it's relatively fine for a city car. It's more, more, more than enough. Here you have a protection for the trunk that you can get it out and just probably a few seconds if you know how yes it's no big deal uh, and it's not a plastic a hard plastic it's kind of a soft plastic you have some elastics here and then you're good to go and you're out and this is the way it looks without that protection guys it's quite okay not big but super fine for groceries going in a weekend uh, take a bag or two bags for two person. I think it's more than enough But uh, if you have kids if you carry a lot of stuff that will be not so great if you want to go in Holidays for example, so for the city it's more than perfect because look at this you have even here a lot of storage space to put your triangles repair kit here. It's also the GBL sound system uh, You can see down here. It's writing so this is the way it looks under the floor. If you want to fold down the seats, you have to fold it uh, just like that. Pull this and push it forward. Pull this and push it forward. Here you have also a light in the trunk. And now when you fold this down, you have kind of a flat floor 
here, almost a flat floor here, but you don't have it here. So you have some plastic at the entrance and you have deepness here. So yeah, it's relatively fine. Also, you can put your tires here or whatever you want to put. I think it's big enough to carry a lot of stuff after you fall down the seats. And also if we go on the side, open the door, uh, the entrance is mm, not that big. And also the door doesn't open uh, too much, but it's understandable. Once you go here, you can see also from this angle, the space, it's relatively fine. No big deal. Also behind the seats, you have kind of a, and down here, you have some uh, storage space, a lot of storage space. I was impressed to see that. Also the transmission tunnel is not that big. It's relatively fine. Now let me put everything back and we will go inside, guys. Here, the windows and the doors design are, yeah, a little bit strange. So you can see a lot of, door part you have it here metal part and also in this area uh, and the window on the rear even though it's a tinted window and from the exterior look gorgeous from the interior it's not uh, super super nice but it's okay you can also open it up if you want to the car was built actually for two person more than uh, four and you can open it like that you cannot fold it down or stuff like that you have to open it in this way so yeah it's okay for the purpose of the car build, it's relatively fine. Here, of course, we have everywhere plastic, no speaker, stuff like that. You have a handle and you have also those to open the door. Entrance in the car, relatively small, I should say. But once you're there, you can see from here, it doesn't look bad at all. Also, everywhere you have fabric material here. The seats are made by fabric material. You have Isofix for child. You can install two child seats here. I think for small child will be more than perfect. And even for bigger child uh, to stay here in the back. Also, you have kind of a fake leather here because everything is vegan friendly, I should say. It's a fabric material. Even in the middle, it's a flat floor. Even the transmission tunnel, it's super small. So this is good thing. Also behind the front seat, some stuff material. I like that. It's not bad. Let me go inside the car. Going inside a little bit, a little bit tight, but once I'm here, I have a head rest. I'm 173 centimeters, and you can see that I still have three fingers. Yeah, three fingers over my head, and it's in my driving position. Yes, I can go even more forward, but if you go to the legs room, I feel like I'm in a third row for this max and you can see not so much space for me it's good i can stretch my legs a little bit under the front seat for me it's good at 173 centimeters but for taller persons um i don't know i don't know what to say the visibility outside yeah as you can see it's not so good you have a big 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 pillar here in the back so you have a okay visibility if you go a little bit forward like that but the comfort is not that bad. For me at least, for small persons, the comfort is quite okay. And also uh, the seats are quite stiffer. If I go in the middle here, even though if I'm not wrong, this car is made for two person because you have two seat belts here, of course. Uh, here in the middle you have a space to put your bottle. But if I go in the middle, just for the uh, purpose of testing, I have like, <laughs> three fingers and half a little bit more space i can stretch my hand mm, so so here also so so uh, but it's not bad at all <laughs> to be honest and also you have this fake vegan leather um, it's nice but the, the my knees are almost there on the seat and you can see how they are anyway this car was built for more like two person car but actually to be honest it's enough space here in the back for city travel and short trips, it's more than fine. We will go in the front. You can see that the design is totally changed from the previous version and it's nicer, it's simple. And if we compare it with the cars in this class, it's relatively impressive and you can see really nice design. 
really nice integration of the vents, really nice integration on the multimedia system, and also super, super nice steering wheel. I drive the car and I feel like I was driving a bigger car in other class. So that, from driving point of view, it's, it's super, super nice. Anyway, let's go in the front. So going in the front here, huge window. Guys, this window, it's like Toyota taking it from a big SUV. I don't know how to show you here but it's really huge. I think it's bigger than Ford Puma window in the front. So it's just incredible big. So you have a gorgeous visibility outside. The door, the same story. You have this panel here, metal panel in the color of the car. Then you have here plastic everywhere in this area. You have a speaker down here. Here you have quite a lot of space to put your things. Handle, handle, uh, electric, uh, button for the windows in the front and electric adjustable mirrors great this these things I, I really like them this time in the front you have a proper entrance really big entrance in the car good visibility here uh, so you can see from here the seats are nice quite nice design you have this x I should say or cross how you want to call it design here with some kind of star and fabric material vegan friendly leather on the side manual adjustable seats and also in the front normal pedals i go x cross also the carpets up here you have the buttons for start stop engine button uh, traction control on and off automatic lights also position of the lights uh, here is plastic plastic also here we have those interesting vents i like them look at this how cool they are really interesting vents some glossy plastic and also up here everywhere it's plastic guys everywhere on the dash that's something to keep in mind there you have a speaker and also here we have a speaker gbl sound system great this is super premium let's go inside close the door and the visibility around the windows is phenomenal i have nothing to say about visibility it is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous visibility around the windows. Also in the back there, you can see blind spot right there in this area. Super, super, a lot of blind spot, but lucky the car come with a reverse camera and you have a bigger window there in the back. So it's, it's, it's a good visibility. You can see one more time the seats from this angle. And here in the middle, no armrest. This is one of the downside that I find on the car. I don't understand why they cannot put an armrest here. How, how much expensive can be that? Manual handbrake, also very simple. Everything is made by plastic. In the middle, no place here to put your things. And also another thing that I don't understand why they cannot design somehow a place here to make it much more practical. Then going forward, you have this gear shifter in the middle. Then you have the position. You have the possibility to change the gears manual as well. This is great, I like that. And then going forward, two cup holders, wireless charging for your phone, this is awesome. 12 volt port, USB, heated seats in the front are included in the package. And also you have a star stop um, engine button. This is also great. Then going here, huge glow box. Now I understand why they don't put space here because you have a huge glow box really nice and other than that really round interesting design here on the dash up here you have a mirror and you can see also good visibility very good i should say on the mirror in the back there uh, up here it's quite cheap and poor i should say this area you have a x also on those plastics and also you have a normal bulb light and sos button and microphones and then going forward here you have a mirror a big mirror i like that this is good. This is really, really useful. And other than that, the roof quality, it's kind of an entry level, I should say. And the steering wheel, guys, you can adjust it up, down, but no, only up, down. By the way, the engine is very silent when it's just on. When you accelerate, it will be aggressive and noisier. You can check out in the test drive there, you can see more information, but overall it's very, very silent. Going forward, the cockpit, it's relatively simple. You have analogical uh, speedometer and RPM and uh, on the side you have some digital view on the gas and in the middle you have a nice nice screen this screen show you the consumption show you a lot of information useful information the range 
the the speed and it's it's really really cool also you have the autopilot and adaptive cruise control here then you have the media you have also some information about the car the drive information and then in the middle you have uh, all that clock brightness lane assist uh, braking emergency braking system you can activate it and or disactivate it and all that uh, safety features and also you have the settings here of the vehicle where you can change it uh, for example you can change different uh, things here anyway let me go forward settings of the cockpit driver units and pop-up display and echo mode on and off by the way guys I did a test drive and I didn't know from where to change this echo mode and now I see it you have to go in the menu wow it's so complicated and then put it on and off from here wow I didn't know that it's, it's not a button you have to go inside here the menu to change the echo mode but overall uh, it's simple and nice to use and I like it I have to say that I like the way they design it good this is the cockpit now the steering wheel it's one of my favorite part on the car it's super small and nice and agile and and it's perfect I mean the quality it's very very good and also the design the shape the color here it's also uh, contrasting good with the doors color then here we have some pedals to change the gear manual if you want to change the gear manual you can go in drive and then go left and then you change the gears the way you want it that's cool also if you go in reverse you can see that the car comes with a reverse camera it's not the best in the world uh, resolution but it's very useful trust me here we have uh, also the pedals as i said to change the gear manually then you have the lights controllers behind here and the fog lamps of course also behind there and here we have some physical button super useful where you can change different things uh, in the cockpit or uh, volume or voice commands and also on the right side you have controllers for the cruise control as i said it's one of the best cruise control in a mini car ever and uh, autopilot it's phenomenal you can change it from here super fast while you're driving here you have the button for the blinkers and here you have the multimedia the new multimedia system it's very simple to use you have some physical button on the right side that gets you to home here it gets you to the uh, phone connectivity and then you have plus and minus the volume and also you have this button here that gets you directly to the settings of the car you can see if you have uh, selected or if you have connected uh, a phone or not you can change the languages from here from the system settings device settings sound settings system settings from here you can change different uh, settings wi-fi and radio then go to home you have the navigation navigation it's fine but it's not very responsive that's something that i noticed so it's a little bit laggy so once you set a destination for example let me go to here come on once you set the destination it's fine but before that uh, yeah it's struggling a little bit uh, with a few delay but overall when it works it's work nice and also it shows you a lot of information right here good going back home phone projection here you can project your phone super simple navigation service vehicle here you have all the information of the vehicle uh, like the driving and also you have the fuel consumption here on the last trips for example and overall kind of this is the car guys it's not so complicated it's a simple car uh, with a few impressive things like the most impressive is the safety features on the car are incredible then the second one is that it's a car made for driving pleasure more than practicality but even though i find it very practical when you fall down the seats in the back and it's beautiful from the exterior it's super super beautiful it's a cute nice city crossover i like it anyway that was the review i hope you enjoyed it check out the test drive if you want to find out more information about the car there you can find out how is to drive this new toyota i go cross or the way they call it anyway my rating for this car from 1 to 10 will be 9.9 .9. it's a great car very reliable it's a trustworthy car i should say and 
yeah, you should take it into consideration for sure. So that was the video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you get some useful information. If you want to find out uh, anything else, ask me down below, whatever. I will answer with pleasure. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching my video. Don't forget to check out Emil Frey in Bern. If you want to buy the car, if you want to see the car, check them out. Also tell them you come from me. You will get a nice discount. Thank you for watching. I see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.